Who remembers Portal Knights? It was a Terraria slash Minecraft mix up about seven years ago now nearly and it did actually have quite a lot of success. It went on to come out of early access on Steam, releasing on consoles as well as mobile to millions of players. So what have that team been doing since the last update has been a number of years and we've known they've been working on something different? Welcome to Enshrouded, a brand new 16 player co-op survival open world sandbox adventure game. <gasps> yeah, get all them descriptive words in. It pretty much is a upgraded version of Portal Knights to my mind, set in a more realistic setting but still voxel based. Marketing company Helpingham has compared it to Valheim meets Zelda. That's a lofty claim that we'll definitely have to test out and see if it's true. But it definitely looks good. It's fun, it's cartoony, but it's still got that serious overtone vibe in terms of the world. Huge base building, survival, dungeons, bosses, and of course lots of weapons and combat tools that you can be using to take on your foes. Seemingly with a big focus on magic. Developers are keen games in case you hadn't actually ever come across Portal Knights and it does look very much like they've just took that idea and distilled it into something a bit more modern and less aimed at kids. FYI, Portal Knights was a great little game. Once it came out with early access it really had a good amount of heart, although the combat and stuff was a little bit fiddly. It was a cracking little game and I did cover it way back way back when with some guide videos and let's plays. So very interested in this, it's meant to be coming out later on this year, as you would expect, to PC, Steam, Early Access first, and then they do have plans to release it on PlayStation 5 and Series X and S in the future. Might not matter to most people, but I am concerned about the publishing side of things. I do believe that they were meant to have been working on a direct sequel to Portal Knights, and they went into business with Tencent, the idea being that it was going to launch an MMO style version of the game in China, well, maybe that was one of its biggest markets and the rest of the world. But that got cancelled and since then they've been working on this. So have Tencent got any influence at all or is this them just publishing on their own? According to Steam, they are the publishers. But don't always go with that. Sometimes it can be kind of hidden away a little bit. They might just be investing a little bit more with it. It might not matter to some, Tencent have got a bit of a checkered history. Some of their games and some of the funding they've produced for games has been great, but they often want to recoup it with lots of microtransactions, battle passes and more. See Conan Exiles most recent. Back to what we do know, they reckon the game will be in early access a year. They're going to be adding more biomes and each biome will have more ingredients, bosses and obviously creatures that you'll kill and then be able to craft new resources, weapons and more with them. So it does very much sound like a kind of Valheim style early access, adding new content as they go. The realm of the Ember Vale is lost. In their greed for magical power, your ancestors unleashed a pestilence that consumed the world. Enshrouded is a game of survival crafting and action RPG combat set within a sprawling voxel based continent. As you journey across the mountains and deserts of an open world you are free to choose your path and shape your destiny. Ignite the ancient power of the flame and piece together the fragments of a story that unfolds below the surface. You start with nothing but will survive the wilds. You must scrape and scavenge through the ruined remnants of a lost kingdom and fend off beasts that hunger for your flesh. Journey through forest caves, dungeons, searching for secret knowledge and treasure. Build the strength to venture into the shroud and bring the fight back to the horrors from below. Heart pounding action combat is the next tagline. As the shroud consumes the land it corrupts, mutates and guides all life it encounters, cleave your way through ravaging factions and formidable bosses battling fiends in the forest, a Volker in the mountains and fell creatures in the mist. Duck, parry and surprise your foes with unexpected fighting skills and powerful spells. Exploit the weakness of your enemies as you develop your own unique playstyle with an in-depth skill tree system. Then the next few ones go over their building system like it is, obviously chopping down lots of trees and having resources. It does kind of look cool, the window aesthetic particularly, where you can literally just make windows out of anything using the block saws to kind of clear a gap, that is pretty interesting. And then we've got oh, lots of furniture and coziness going on there in decorations. Also, very much like Portal Knights and other games like Terraria in the past, NPCs are going to be important, taking refuge within your walls will unlock advanced workshops and ability to craft epic weapons and armour. All the usual weapons that you kind of expect, shield, sword, staff and bows. Maybe more unusual is the 16 player co-op. I dug around halfway making through this video and found out they are planning it to be a co-op game, but you will be able to hopefully have your own dedicated servers in the future. 
It did seem a bit too crazy to have 16 player co-op if the host can log off at any time, leaving you and your friends at high and dry without an actual game to play on. But according to the FAQs in Discord, they're going to offer offline play, single player play and co-op and yes, the ability to have your own dedicated servers. So for the non-technical people out there, let's hope that means we'll be able to rent one from places like the Trader. Also found out they've got a rough price point already, $19.99. Of course, this may change, and as you'd expect, it will go up once they leave early access. Game has been made with their own engine. It's not Unreal 5, it's not Unity, it's something they're calling Holistic. They haven't mentioned any direct plans about betas and alphas, but they do have a newsletter sign up, so apparently that's the best place to get that info. And they've got absolutely no plans to make this a PvP game, I don't even think maybe friendly fire, but you don't know. We'll have to wait until it actually gets here for that. But yeah, definitely not PvP, so they can focus on actually having a co-op experience with RPG story mechanics and not have to worry about griefing. So absolutely join their Discord. I'll leave a link to it in the comments section, as is pretty standard nowadays. And yeah, certainly it does look great. I'm glad to see all gameplay, no snazzy trailers or CGI. What I'm really seeing is more of a mashup of Fable versus possibly Valheim than Zelda. Honestly, Portal Knights was a great little game, fiddly in some aspects because of the Minecraft-esque building. But I've seen the refresh this, so it's not all going to be just block-based, but you can manipulate terrain as well as your base features to create windows, doorways, and all sorts of crazy pillars. So it looks really, really great for builders. Also, environmental damage, destroying ruins with your magical bolts. I haven't really seen that other than maybe Battlefield Bad Company, certainly not in a survival game recently where the actual environment can take damage and end up seeing ruins and walls actually be obliterated. Other than the bog standard gathering of resources or maybe mining with your pick in Valheim, that's probably the closest. So really great stuff. Enemies in combat looks pretty decent and they've got mini bosses or big bosses that seem pretty ferocious and challenging as well. Which definitely Portal Knights I felt was a good product of theirs was the actual combat. Despite it looking like a Minecraft kind of ripoff, it actually had some really good depth to it. The housing of NPCs isn't something we haven't seen before, but maybe not done in such a 3D open world game like this. I do like the idea of even solo or single player that you can make the world feel alive by having these NPCs to go and visit, maybe get recipes and stuff from. So the skill tree doesn't look like anything we haven't seen before, but it's still giving us the comprehensive options to go ahead and make the character and class that we really want with lots of special abilities or buffs and really giving us a bit of a different flavor from other players. So yeah, I guess the only thing to clear up now is when we're gonna get a release date for it and if Tencent are involved in any way, shape or form. But like I said, I'm sure some of you guys, that won't really matter as long as the core gameplay is good and you who knows, you might actually wanna support them with microtransactions and stuff if the game is actually good. Let me know what you think about the game and I'll give you more details about it in the future. Laters, ripbags.